you're wondering where I buy my silver, or if you are on Guam or one of the other U.S. territories and where to buy silver, well, stay tuned. Hey YouTube, I'm the Guam Stacker, and this video is going to be where I buy my silver and where I get my silver. Where, where. If you are living in Guam, or maybe in one of the other territories if this possibly applies to you, um, where to buy silver. And so, the big, biggest problem I, I have uh, living on Guam with uh, being a stacker is... There are no LCSs here. If you don't know, that means it's a local coin shop. Uh, there are none on Guam, so uh, that makes things harder. There is a, a few pawn shops here, and the problem is with the pawn shops here is they kind of special have specialties in things. They specialize in jewelry and electronics. There is one shop, pawn shop that does have that um, does have. Uh, American gold eagle, I don't know, I say again, American silver eagles, right? Like this beautiful 2021. And the problem is, I guess they don't know what they're selling or they don't know what buying, but, well, they know how to make money, of course. It's a pawn shop for you. They they were quoting me, actually, I did buy two just for, I always got to, you know, every now, or got to try to support local, though, but this pawn shop was selling me American uh, silver eagles at ten dollars uh, premium, uh, and this is so they quoted me. This is one actually even more. This is one. The spot was around uh, twenty four some, and this is already past when the high premiums were gone already, right? Like uh, the high premiums online was already down almost like four or five bucks, six bucks probably wherever where you went, and they still tried to quote me thirty five bucks for a silver eagle, and. Just say I bought two. I didn't feel like I was, uh, in my feeling, I didn't feel like I was getting scammed or, you know, trying to getting robbed. I just kind of like, okay, uh, I'm going to support local a little bit. Just uh, just get me two of them. So I, that's probably the most expensive silver eagles I've bought uh, that are bullion pieces that are not even, you know, encapsulated or encapsulated but slabbed or proof like, or proof I meant. So um, if you're like like me, uh, if you're you have no uh, LCS and you only have places that do that, um, the best places are online. Or so I'm gonna go through them. Or online, uh, and I'm trying to do Instagram right now. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, trying to play some games too, or you know, try to win some, and we'll see how that goes out. Uh, as my problem is, if you try to buy, if I try to buy through Instagram, uh, and what's, oh, it what kind of sucks being U.S. territory is. Uh, we, we Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle don't extend to the U.S. territories. It's only for the con. I guess for the 50 states. Not sure if Puerto Rico is included as well, but I just know Guam. Uh, those three don't work, so I have to only use PayPal. And not a lot of people who sell on Instagram like using PayPal. So I have to like message them. Hey, can you accept PayPal? Uh, hey, my address. Uh, taking so anything you ship to Guam, if you ship the USPS, is actually the same price as shipping anywhere in the United States. There's a flat rate, or it's not flat rate, but it's it's the same fee schedule as the whole US uh, shipping to Guam, right? So, especially if you use like a flat rate envelope or flat rate box, flat rate envelope, uh, it's the same price. So that's why I've just convinced people. So I'm gonna get to that or. Let's just say that that's how you do it. Um, eBay, of course, you gotta look where they, if they ship to your location. That's one way. Um, so, and then those are like other ones, except for the dealers. Uh, but now I'm gonna go through the dealers. So, the the priority ones, like let's say the big ones, biggest ones that don't ship to Guam, are uh, J M Bullion, which is and Provident Metals. That's probably the two biggest ones that don't ship to Guam. Oh, uh, let's say even bullion exchanges and B G A S C. I kind of uh, I don't use them. I can't use them, so that's why I don't really have it memorized like some people. But sometimes they have some pretty awesome sales, especially like Provident or uh, J M Bullion, and I can't I can't uh, get in on them because they don't ship to Guam. There's a big label on both their websites, of course, because we all know they're owned by you know J M Bullion bought up Provident, 
And it basically says, thank you for visiting. Uh, please note that we do not sh offer international shipping at this time. We only ship within the USA and to U.S. military bases. So, um, I hate it when people say we only ship within the USA. I, I wish they'd put, like, put, only ship within the contingual or contig cont contingious, uh, basically in the continent or within the only 50 states of the USA because the whole federal government and a lot of other places consider Guam as part, you know, it is part of the USA, but, you know, the, uh, of course it's a business and they, it's up to them. Even though I, I, I could call them and like, hey, it's the same price if you ship USPS, which most, so USPS is the same price, UPS and FedEx, that's the one that will kill you, so, or the price will kill you. So, JM, like I said, JM Bullion, Provident Metals, uh, Bullion Exchanges, BG, uh, BGACS, doesn't ship to Guam, okay? And I think Hero Bullion, I was trying to find out, but I don't think uh, uh, if, it, if they update, but last time I tried, they wouldn't ship to me either. Um, so my main, uh, let's just say, my main websites that are ship, that, that ship to me are um, my favorite. <laughs> well, the, the biggest one, of course, let me go, not my favorite, but the biggest one, the biggest online Boolean dealer, uh, of course, Atmex, they ship to Guam. And they uh, do love their ninety nine. Uh, if it's like if it's ninety nine dollars, if your order is over ninety nine dollars, of course they ship free. And even that applies to Guam too. So the only problem is, of course, Atmex has them high premiums. But I do love their inventory. They just have such a be such a large inventory. Oh, look at that beautiful Britannia. Damn, standing strong. And so, uh, yeah. So Atmex, of course, ships to Guam. If you have the 99, if and it's free if it, like I said, if it's uh, 99 or above, your order. Uh, SD Bullion ships to Guam. Love that. I love actually. That's my favorite. Actually, my two favorite. I have two favorites now. But SD Bullion ships to Guam, and they recently they used to be like Atmex with 99 dollar orders ship free, but now they actually just boosted. And I just noticed this like a few days ago. Well, I was looking up on their sales, and I actually had some stuff in my cart that I wanted to see how much it'll cost. Right. And now they change it to one ninety nine and above ships for free. And so, I wish it was ninety nine because I could just make smaller orders if I wanted to. Um. Uh, so yeah. So but the SD or SD is still my favorite. They, there's always they usually have a better better deal. Um, my next favorite actually is Monument Metals. They have some amazing deals for that I that I can pick up. You know? So. Oh, here's another. Here's a nice 2021 Britannia. A little mint lock. Oh, their shield lock. There you go. Lock shield. Where's the trident? Come on, trident. Their trident shield. But yeah, I just love the Britannia. It's just their nice design. Um, but so Monument Metals has the a lot of times good deals. I like their Asahi deals. Their the I don't know. I always pronounce, I pronounce it Asahi. Um, I said a few people pronounce it Asahi, but it uh. I actually know a lot of Japanese people, and they they pronounce that H. So that's the way I pronounce. So if we're you know to each their own, but they usually have some good deals, and I they do usually ship for free. I think for I think ninety nine and above, or usually I, I when I order them. Um, uh, Monument Metals, I've I think their own is pretty high. Uh, I don't think it's two hundred dollars that ships for free, but it just if you're gonna buy or not Monument Metals, uh, Money Metals Exchange ships to Guam, and they do. Uh, I usually don't get a lot of good deals, but if I do find something there, I usually buy and I just eat the eat the shipping costs. Uh, another one is uh, uh, basically called um, Silver Gold Bull that ships to Guam, and they have the two hundred the one ninety nine that was that's their their standard I guess uh, ship free shipping, and they usually have some pretty good deals on like generics and uh, random uh, random rounds or no gen random generic rounds. And then I also found a good deal. They were the cheapest that I could buy for the the random American Silver Eagles. So, but you just remember uh, that one, you got to do this stuff. Um, oh, uh, I have to make it clear. Um, of course, SD Bullion, uh, Atmex, uh, Monument Metals, uh, Silver Gold Bull. I'm not sure of Money Metals. It's been a while since I bought through them. But uh, I know for sure that the, the other, the prior four, uh, they they accept a check AC or you know ACH or 
e-check or whatever like that. So that's why I like that. And of course, you get those good prices. Uh, Golden State Mint. That they ship to Guam as well. Uh, I bought a few stuff from them, mostly rounds. But they they stopped their e-check option. It's only credit card and I'm not sure PayPal or paper check. And I don't want to uh, basically risk it. If you're from Guam, you kind of don't want to send a... You know, if there's a time limit on a paper check, you kind of don't want to send it. It might take a little while. I don't know how long, but yeah. But that's my my three main. Um, Liberty Coin, their website doesn't doesn't ship to Guam, but their eBay does. That's, that's an interesting one. That's interesting because SD Bullion and Atmex, their eBay doesn't ship to Guam, but their, their, their actual websites ship to Guam. But Liberty Coin, their eBay, eBay ships to Guam, but their website doesn't. Um, I'm trying to, I'm, I haven't purchased some Gainesville coins, but I, I, I probably, they ship to Guam, that's, uh, they're listed, so I want to try for them, but their, their payment options basically, they don't offer that e-check, which I really love. Um, Modern Coin Mart ships to Guam, but I kind of, that's more of like the numismatic stuff, or they carry a certain premium for certain things, I, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to stack, you know, bullion pieces, so I kind of don't, haven't purchased them. Uh, so that's the main ones that I use. Um, if you have a comment of, uh, of uh, you know, a bullion dealer that can, you think that might ship to me or, uh, or not ship to me, but like ship to someone like in my predicament, <clears throat> well, leave a comment. And if you think that's pretty cool information, if you want on Guam and you want to order, uh, just let you know that's the prices. But I guess that was it. Um, uh, like I said, or, so if you like the video, give it a like. That's kind of redundant, but if you want to give the video a like, give the video a comment if you want to talk about something or if you want to just say anything. And if you uh, enjoy watching videos of someone in Guam stacking and collecting and being a little educational a bit about precious metals, gold, silver, um, one day some, or platinum pretty soon actually, but hopefully one day some palladium, uh, just, you know, subscribe. So, I'm the Guam Stacker. Thank you for watching. Adios.